well, you'd never know it from that, but this, <laughs> this is a difficult night. <laughs> Thank you all. It's, uh, it's just such a privilege to be here with all of you, and I love you, every single one of you. I really do. Thank you. And let me, let me just, uh, let me begin. I've said it's a difficult night. It is a difficult night. I know it's a difficult night. You've been working so hard, and to all of the people, uh, I'm going to talk to everyone. I, you know, I, um, let me begin, as I do, by acknowledging the many Indigenous people on whose territory we meet tonight, most recently the Mississaugas of the New Credit. Yeah. And our democracy is strong, and because of that, let me congratulate Doug Ford. I've spoken to him, and I wish him well. And I have... And I have committed to work with him to make this transition as smooth as possible. And now I trust that the rancor and the polarization of an election campaign can give way to the necessary civility of well-run government as he deliberates, as you deliberate, Doug, and search for the best decisions and solutions for all Ontarians. My team kept asking me yesterday who I'm going to be talking to tonight. And yesterday, I couldn't fully answer that question. And this morning, I figured out why. Because I'm talking to all of you. All of you in this room, but all of you in the province. This... <laughs> and I love you. This... This is not a concession speech. I conceded I would not be Premier days ago. So, so, the, so this is my chance to say thank you for allowing me to be your Premier, and most importantly, for letting me connect with so many of you for the last five years. This, this, this has been the greatest privilege of my life. And the best part of my job is connecting with all of you. So tonight, I'm talking to you. Some of you watching tonight are watching from campaign rooms, from bars, and victory halls across Ontario. There's a candidate with you who put his or her name on the line, took that risk, and with your help, knocked on thousands of doors. You made phone calls, you cooked meals, you hammered in signs, and you met fantastic people every single day who came to their doors and told you about their lives just because you were there and you asked. You had the privilege and the joy of being part of a team, and I want to thank you for being involved. There is simply no election campaign without you, regardless of party stripe. To the candidates in those rooms, if you won, congratulations. Yes, congratulations. You, you are in for a surprising, rewarding, challenging experience. And I wish you well as you work for your constituents and in the best interests of all Ontarians. Enjoy tonight and well done. If you didn't win, you and your team are disappointed tonight. My heart goes out to you. But even as I say that, I know that you've had great moments, you've had great fun, and you've had a remarkable experience. Through tears and hugs, know that you have been so important to the debate in your community. And I'll bet some of you are already thinking about doing it again. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. To the Liberals in those halls around the province, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, that word, that word is a small word for the huge emotion that I have, the love and the gratitude that I feel for, you, for all of you. 
Thank you so much. Election campaigns are intense, exhilarating, all-engrossing, and exhausting. And all of you who have been involved are the lifeblood of democracy. Some of you watching in this room have been pouring your hearts into this campaign, and I just want to thank you particularly. Campaign co-chairs David Hurley, Deb Matthews, Tim Murphy, Michael Chan. Thank you. Thank you. All, all of the steering committee, all of the steering committee, thank you. Ontario Liberal Party President Brian Johns, Executive Director Dave Clark, and the OLP team. Thank you. And all of the volunteers on my own campaign, both the Central campaign and the Don Valley West campaign, I can't name you all. But I love you and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. you some of you watching tonight are young voters or fairly new to Ontario and you voted for the first time thank you for that you have made your voice heard some of you watching tonight have worked in government either as political staff or in a constituency office, or as civil servants in all of the ministries that serve the more than 13 and a half million people in this beautiful province. You work so hard. Vous êtes intelligent et vous comprenez l'importance que nos routes soient sûres, que nous ayons un système de santé qui est excellent, que notre air soit propre et notre eau protégée. You care deeply that we find supports for kids with autism treatment for people with mental illness, and seniors descending into the frightening darkness of dementia. You advise and guide politicians. You show us the options and ask us to choose a path forward, and then you work so hard to execute the solution. So all to all of you, thank you so much. And I want to just, I want to just make a special thank you to my Chief of Staff, Andrew Bevan. Andrew has stood by me. Andrew has stood by me through everything since 2002. Some of you watching tonight are the families of candidates. You love and support us, and without you, we could not do any of this. Thank you for being that web of love and confidence that holds us, picks us up, and celebrates us. Some of you watching are my own family. Pat and John Wynn. <laughs> yeah. Who are my parents who just had their 66th wedding anniversary. <laughs> my sisters. Evie and Anne, Maggie, my youngest child, and my grandkids, Olivia and Claire and Hugh. And some of you are here with me tonight. Chris and Jesse and Stan, thank you so much for being here. And Marie, my sister Marie is here. And Jane, and Jane. nothing without Jane. <laughs> Some of you watching tonight are teachers or early childhood educators, your nurses or doctors. Some of you clean our schools, you clean our hospitals and our office buildings. Some of you care for our parents and our grandparents in their homes or in retirement or long-term care homes. Some of you watching build our roads and our transit systems. Some of you have just started a new business in some tech sphere that I will never understand, <laughs> but will change the face of the world. Some of you just opened a great new restaurant or you serve drinks in a bar. Some of you watching tonight, you're watching with your child who has a disability and you want the very best for him or her as you age. Some of you are watching from a First Nation community. Some of you are watching tonight from your family farm 
and some from an apartment in downtown Windsor. Some of you build cars, some of you forge steel or mine gold, some of you use 3D printers to make prosthetics, and some of you magically make us laugh or cry with your animation, your music, and your art. Please know that every day I have been your premier and a minister and an MPP that I have worked to think about your needs every single day. And I, I have been, I have been so fortunate to get to know so many of you and to see what you do. You are passionate about what you do and that is the beauty of Ontario. Some of you watching tonight are just finishing iftar. You are in the midst of Ramadan and the days are long. Some of you have worked in your churches for decades. Some of you volunteer at your gurdwara or temple, preparing food for thousands of people every week. Some of you volunteer at your synagogue every Saturday. Certains d'entre vous qui regardez ce soir sont des membres de la communauté francophone. Vous représentez une partie considérable de l'histoire de l'Ontario qui s'entend sur plus de 400 ans. C'est notre histoire, notre présent et notre avenir. Votre vitalité, votre diversité en pleine expansion et votre force sont, dans, sont la force de l'Ontario. <laughs> How did that go, Ronan? <laughs> families have been in Ontario for six generations, some for six years, and some for six months. But apart from First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people, we all came from somewhere else to build a different kind of society, one where everyone would have a fair shot at a great life, education, health care, a good job, a life without fear of bigotry or discrimination. And we've got some of that right, but we're not there yet. So let me leave you with this. Whoever you are, in whatever corner of Ontario you have made home, you are part of a beautiful, vibrant place. Election campaigns make us feel that we're divided, that somehow we're not in this together. But believe me, we are. We are dependent on one another from Fort Severn across to Moosonee, through Kenora, Thunder Bay, Wawa, Red Lake, Cochrane, Timmins, Renfrew, Cornwall, Ottawa, Kingston, the GTA, Barrie, Bracebridge, Kitchener-Waterloo, Niagara, London, Chatham, Windsor, and all the places in between. And just for all the speechwriters in the room, I know that list was too long, but it's my speech, and damn it, I was going to say all those places. <laughs> just, just be lucky I didn't name all 444 towns and cities and villages, because each one is unique, but it's also striving for the same things, a great future for our community, opportunity for our kids, care for our parents, a decent living. That's why we raise the minimum wage. That's, that's why we fought for, that's why we fought for and won a better Canada pension plan across the country. That's why we're building roads and transit and water systems and schools and hospitals everywhere in this province. That's why your child can get his or her tuition covered if it's hard for you to pay. And that's why your baby's prescription is free, because we're investing in his or her healthy start. Yeah. And that's why your kids, that's why your kids can go to full day kindergarten. And it's why if you're in, a, in an abusive relationship, 
there are more supports in place for you. That's why there's more care for your mom and dad who need it in their homes. Government exists to do the things that we can't do ourselves. And that job is never done. That's right. Il y a toujours plus à faire pour rendre vos vies plus faciles, vous donner des opportunités, du succès et un avenir encore plus brillant. It all starts in the community. And I am so proud of all the Liberal MPPs who have been elected tonight. I'm absolutely certain that you will stand up for your communities and you will fight to make sure every worker and every family in Ontario gets the care and opportunity that they deserve. I am resigning as the leader of the Ontario Liberal Party. I know. We're not. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I have spoken to the party president and asked him to start the process of choosing an interim leader. And it is the right thing to do. There is another generation, and I am passing the torch to that generation. I know. I know that tonight is not the result we were looking for, and no one feels that more sharply than I do. But this is not a moment where any of us should linger. We can't stay here. I hope that you can feel very proud of what we have done together in the past, and absolutely determined to take on the task that lies ahead. We won't get there with anger. We won't get there with despair. So although I've lost this election tonight, I have not in any way lost my passion for continuing this work, continuing to find ways to make it all work better. always complicated and I I think we can look back at the past with rose-colored glasses my dad today when I took him he and my mom to vote he was talking about how his mom talked so much about not having been able to vote until she was 30 or so and he said it's just like yesterday he remembers that so there have been fights throughout our history but right now climate change technological change Donald Trump protectionism populism make our world particularly complicated. Our job, and I mean all of us, is to tackle those forces, to make sure that we assert our values as the people of Ontario, strong, resilient, caring people. We've got a great thing going here. It's the best place in the world to live. People come from around the world, literally, to look at the excellence that we've built in our schools, in our health care, clean tech. So let's keep that momentum going. We all have a role to play, every single one of us. And as the song says, and I'm going to paraphrase, we're still standing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Merci.